Okay, in this video I'm quickly going to show you how you add yourself into the admins.json file and explain a few things. Um, so you can do all the admin stuff in game and don't have to edit any configs anymore. And uh, yeah, let's go to the Daisy server profiles folder. In the last video I showed you how you can set up your local Daisy server or you do it on your uh, remote Daisy server. Doesn't really matter, you can uh, add yourself anywhere. Um, so you go to the profiles folder. Then you look for the LB master folder and the config folder common and then you find the admins.json file. So you open it. You need to add your Steam64 ID here. I'm not going to explain how to find it. Just Google how I find my Steam64 ID. Um, paste it in here. Then for in-game name for permissions, you can set a name in here or leave it empty. When you leave it empty, you can join with any name and you will uh, always have admin permissions but some owners like to set a name here for their admins. So when they join as an admin, they have the permissions and they join with their admin name. And when they join as a player, they don't have any permissions anymore. So you want to set it to, for example, LB master. So only when I join with LB master, then I am going to have the admin permissions. Otherwise I will not have any permissions in game. I like to leave it empty because it's uh, easier for me. Uh, you can use the comment field also to, uh, like, say this is LB master, and then you always know which Steam ID belongs to who. And then grant all permissions will grant all the permissions available from all my mods to this player, except for a few ones. So uh, the chat prefix permissions are not granted, so people don't add up with uh, random chat prefixes. And also webhooks cannot be uh, modified by having the grant all permissions, they need to have a permission group with the permission for uh, changing webhooks. So um, I have a few uh, example permission groups set up. So for example, the owner, the admin, moderator and support. You can add your, uh, your own permission groups in here, rename them, whatever you want. Um, so I'll leave everything as default. Um, let's check the owner group. So the owner group has the chat prefix owner, so this is set to one, but for example, admin is set to zero. Um, and one thing, also the webhooks, this one is also set to zero by default. So if you want to change webhooks in game, make sure to set this one to one and add yourself in game uh, for the Steam ID. So we have the in game permissions. So save the file and always make sure uh, the JSON file doesn't have any errors can install a notepad plugin or use a website for it. I like to use this one, just format JSON and if I don't get any errors, everything is fine. So save the file, start your server and in the next video I'm going to explain you parts of the in-game admin menu. See you in the next video then. Bye bye.